seven central characters make up the madcap comedy of misinformation and love that is Shakespeare's play, Much Ado About Nothing. Benedict is a soldier in the Prince's regiment and a close friend of Don Pedro. A self-avowed bachelor, he swears never to marry, as he believes women are incapable of remaining faithful to their husbands. He has a silver tongue, and his friends look to him for a hearty laugh. Benedict is in a constant war of witty words with Beatrice, with whom he falls in love after hearing she is in love with him. Beatrice is of noble blood and resides in the governor's home. Beatrice does not fit the mold of the traditional Elizabethan woman. Opinionated, outspoken, stubborn, independent, and full of wit, she declares herself averse to love. In the past, Benedict broke Beatrice's heart, but by the play's end, the two love each other again. Claudio is a young soldier who earned Don Pedro's praise and friendship during battle. He falls madly in love with Hero, but Claudio is rash and insecure, quick to want to marry Hero and even quicker to cast her aside. Threatened by Hero's alleged infidelity, he calls off the wedding and publicly shames Hero to make himself feel superior. He shows no remorse upon Hero's death until he learns her slander was part of a nefarious plot orchestrated by Don John. Don Pedro is the Prince of Aragon. He considers himself to be something of an expert lover as he woos Hero for Claudio and offers himself as husband to Beatrice. Instead of believing Hero's claims she is innocent, he believes the word of his evil brother, with whom he only recently reconciled after a bitter feud. Leonardo is the governor of Messina. Although Don Pedro does not rule Messina, Leonardo often defers to him out of respect for his title and his status as a guest. When Hero's virtue is called into question, Leonardo breaks with social norms and supports the word of his daughter, a woman, rather than that of the high-ranking prince. He is more loyal to family than he is to power. Don John, sometimes called the bastard because he was the product of an illegitimate relationship, is Don Pedro's half-brother. Though the two have ended a feud, Don John knows he will never be as good as his brother the prince, so he becomes a self-proclaimed villain. He relies on Baraccio to come up with and execute the plan to prevent the wedding between Claudio and Hero. He skips town when the deed is done, the closest thing to admitting guilt. Hero embodies the traits of what is often presented in classic literature as being the feminine ideal. She is modest, reserved, chaste, and happy to defer to her father's guidance. Unable to prove her innocence when accused of having a romantic relationship with a man other than Claudio, she lets others take the lead in restoring her reputation. Hero still wants to marry Claudio despite the shame he brings upon her, which is a sign of both her forgiving nature and her acceptance of letting men run her life.